If you ever completely played yourself, like while you was playing yourself, you didn't realize you was playing yourself. But you look back at life and at the situation, you like, dang. I definitely, I definitely. What was I thinking? I've definitely been there before. This is kind of the story of how I did that. And if you want to be just like me, sit back, take notes, and relax because this is how to completely ruin your relationship. We about to get into it, baby. All right, so step one, follow YouTube relationship advice. Listen, I understand alpha male, all that is trending right now. Everybody wants to be an alpha male, stick your chest out, stand up big and tall, and be aggressive and all that. All that sounds so cool in retrospect and in perspective, but when you actually go out and try to live that, it's not very practical. And you end up kind of forcing it. And whenever you force something, it's never really that good. Blood! It's always like you're making yourself something that you're not too soon. If you if you a young man, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you're gonna become an alpha male naturally. You don't gotta. My bad, y'all. I'm eating an apple. But regardless of that, I know people still gonna take YouTube relationship advice. This is kind of that, actually. I'm kind of making a YouTube relationship advice video right now but it's the opposite yeah taking advice on your relationship is a surefire way to completely ruin it because any advice is always from the outside looking in nobody can ever really give you advice to completely fit your situation because you're the only one that knows what you both have been through in that relationship what you both have put up with what you both are going through because trust me i've been there i tried it i tried being an alpha male i tried not simping and i ain't gonna lie to you it didn't end up well. So do not, do not, you know what I'm saying? Do not try that. Step number two is being unfaithful. Listen, guys, listen. All the stuff I'm telling y'all is stuff that I've done, all right? Listen, I do not condone cheating in any way, shape, or form. But <clears throat> as a previous cheater, yeah, I don't condone cheating. But it is a surefire way to completely ruin the trust of your relationship. And it's probably going to end your relationship, you feel me? And it's not worth it in the long run because you're gonna look back and be like, dang, but that was a very stupid decision. But sometimes you gotta learn from experience. Step number three is putting too much focus on money and not enough focus on who you with. Now listen, this one's gonna be controversial because it's money, because it's MOB, right? I was about to say the actual acronym. Y'all can figure that out for yourself. But it's MOB, right? MOB for life. That's what I thought until I actually tried it. You feel me? Because I was real focused on my bread, trying to run my money up, which I am now. But it's kind of, you know, life is more than just money, bro. Think about it. When you die, when you going from here, are you going to be able to take the money with you? Are you going to be able to, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to take anything with you, to be honest with you. But are you going to be able to really cherish the money that you got, the money that you done made over however many years you done been here? Or are you going to be able to look back on past experiences and things where you know what I'm saying you had real a real bond with somebody a real connection and real good experiences like I put experiences over money but I'd rather have an amazing fun filled life than a life filled with a whole bunch of money and cash and all that you feel me because more money more problems you feel me but understand that money is not everything and don't be too attached to bread because money come and money go you feel me so that's number three. I know we burning through this video right now. We getting straight to it. We getting straight to it. Let's get straight to it. That was a little too aggressive. You feel me? That shit was hella aggressive. I ain't gonna lie. I was kind of. You know what I'm saying? You gotta come a little smoother than that. Let's get straight to it. <laughs> but make sure that y'all leave a like if you're enjoying it so far. It really helped me out in the algorithm. Help put my videos up to the top, and I'm trying to run this joint up because I'm really trying to push this YouTube thing. Get me. So please like. And if you really rock with me, subscribe. Yeah. I think we're on number four. So step number four is start caring when it's too late. Listen, I did this. I did this. I literally just did this. So I'm the best person to take advice from is somebody who's actually been through it. So when you start caring when it's too late, bruh, that is a recipe for disaster. Because the other person was caring the whole time. They was trying to make stuff better. But then you just wore them out because you wasn't caring. And then now they worn out. And now you want to start caring? That's going, you know what I'm saying? That's going to make it impossible to keep going. Because they don't care, and now you care. Back in the day, they did care, and you didn't care. So it's like it's like a seesaw, bro. It's like, at one time, it was like that. But now, it's like that. You feel me? So, life is life. You kind of learn from stuff. Like, everything is an experience. Rah, 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 woody, woody. And 
I don't know what I'm talking about no more. So that's step number four. I understand these steps probably sound foreign to a lot of people because right now we living in a society where it's, you know what I'm saying, city girls, town thoughts versus versus future. If it, we all try to be future out here, trying to be the toxic king. I don't understand that, bro. Like, why are we promoting toxicity in our community? It doesn't make sense, especially in our relationships, you feel me? Yeah, these probably sound foreign, sound like, oh, what is he talking about? I'm about to go F as many bees as I can, you feel me? I mean, like, is that really what you want, bro? Is that really gonna bring you happiness? Or would you rather find your down chick? It's up to you, but you know what I'm saying? They are they are rare nowadays, cause you know what I'm saying they pushing the Megan Thee Stallion lifestyle, the Cardi B lifestyle. But it is what it is. You feel me? You you can't, you know what I'm saying? I mean we can not change it, but it's gonna be very difficult. But that's that's why that's why I'm making these videos, you feel me? To kinda shed light on topics and bring it in a different type of fashion. But I believe that was the last of my steps, you feel me? The last of my processes to ruining a relationship. Hopefully that gave you a very clear guide on how to completely ruin anything you had going on with your significant other. Make sure you go share this video with her. Be like, this is what I'm about to do with you. This is how I'm about to treat you. And yeah, so yeah. Make sure that you vote for Trump 2024, bro. Be making America crazy. <laughs>